Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got look, look, look. We got Ti talking about um, uh, you know, the funny Marco situation, man. We gonna we gonna get on that in a second, man. Uh, we got Blueface being called out for leaving the sun on a live stream, man. Uh, fans telling Jay Z about the um 500k and what they think about that, man. We got um uh, DJ MV potentially being investigated, man. And uh, Will Smith again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for you. Task going to give it a tap and that subscribe button is waiting. For your subscription, man, is going to send it to you. Check this out, man. Look, 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 look. We're going to set this one off with nature versus nurture. You see what I'm saying? Uh, take a look. Look, take a look at the baby giving the dad the tools. Take a look at this one real quick. Are you giving daddy his tools? Good job, baby. You see that, man? You see that? You like, see? That's why I don't want to have kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Look, 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 look. Um, uh, okay. If, if you if if you saw that, then you gotta see the baby being told no. Look at look at this baby real quick. No, no. You like the baby? Look like he already been drinking. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, let's not do that. All right. And then of course there's the perfect baby. So can we get the perfect baby up? Sometimes I wake up at the door. That heart you call must be waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now a lot of y'all fellas um take this opportunity, uh, you know what I'm saying, to tell your spouse, look, we can make one tonight if you want. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, you like babies, don't you? Uh, look, 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 look. If that put a smile on your face, man, support us with a like. The earlier, the better. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. It's a fair exchange, man. We give you likable content. You return a favor with a like, man. You know what I mean? It's the least you could do. You know what I'm saying? Hit us with a like if you don't mind. But check this out. Never mind all that. T.I. has provided his input on the funny Marco G. Herbo situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you are unaware, Southside was on the Funny Marco podcast. The two were chopping it up for a minute, and then G Herbo appeared on the podcast, right? And then the joint started going down in flames. You know what I'm saying? G Herbo was, look, look, G Herbo started ending every sentence with stupid, idiot, dumbass, uh, and similar words. You see what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, look, look, look. And then he asked for the kiss of death, which was more liquor. They done, look, they done broke Funny Marco's $30,000 watch. And part of the sting that everyone observed is how cool Southside seemed until G Herbo showed up. You know what I'm saying? Then the joint went off the rails. Look, it reminded me of this joint right here. Take a look. I could look at these plastic slip covers. This stupid painted on the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully that that hopefully that played. You know what I'm saying? Look, I think what folks despised about the funny Marco G Herbo joint was that most, if not all, of us have dealt with someone that has acted like that. Yeah, you know I'm saying like 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 when we was younger, man. Yeah, you know I mean, um, uh, and, and that's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like when we was younger, there was that punk some of my itch that was like like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe to us. And seeing G Herbo do that was very triggering for a lot of people. It may have been a bully like that in our past that made us ultimately say, I'll never let that happen to me again. I wish a ninja would. You know what I'm saying? See, when you get bullied, right? And you look back on the situation and you see it in your past, in your mind, you want to defend your younger self. Or at least hope someone comes to your defense. You know what I'm saying? And if it didn't happen, you build resentment. You keep saying, yo, man, I should have did this. I should have did that. That's why when you look in the comments, everyone is saying what they would have did because they already experienced that their moment with G Herbo when they was younger. You understand what I'm saying? That's what the whole concept of Debo illustrated. My bad. Anyway, T.I. came out the cut to provide his thoughts on what happened. Take a listen real quick. G Herbo got lit on Funny Marco's show. Check this out. For what? Everything ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. You got to know your audience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I haven't done proper research on the character or the personality type of the people that I've invited, I gotta be prepared for everything. He been acting on like Instagram, like he really been like a funny dude, cool dude. I text him, I asked him, like, I'm like, what up? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he phased by, but you know, he getting, his, he, he getting his clout. I don't think he phased by. He getting them coins too. Remember, he was on a sh that with people, weird. and it didn't, you know. Go He's just corner. saying that he was non-confrontational. He has a very confrontational approach. Show is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. How he started could. Hit, Dejan King almost oh, yeah. got on him. Endeavor, is he, what you did, what you did? <laughs> you know, taking people outside the element, never know what kind of day people are having. You never that know what people are going true. through. You never know what's going on now. In them types of environments. Unbelievable. 
T.I. goes, everything is not for everybody. You got to know your audience. If I'm inviting somebody to a place and I haven't done the proper research on the character and personality type and what they're like, I got to be prepared for everything. Close quote. I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Look, people are complex, man. You know what I'm saying? It is possible to meet a nice person at their worst moment. No one is completely what they were the moment you met them. You understand what I'm saying, man? There's no justification for treating someone like that. And there's no way that behavior can be justified. Miss us with that. You know what I mean? You got to know your audience. You mean the guy that went on the Math Hopper show in the Breakfast Club and was cool to death? No. And, and look, just because Marco got paid off the joint don't mean he's cool with public humiliation. Although, his team did release the interaction between the two. Maybe to show that G Herbo can be like this. You see what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons why I can't stand when ninjas drink too, man. You know what I'm saying? And when they start, look, when they start acting like that, the joint goes off the rail, man. You might wanna, you might wanna murk them. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to follower-like behavior, let, let me tell you something, man. Don't, listen, don't attach yourself to people, right? I, I be trying to tell folks, because you know, I, I work with teenagers, right? So I be trying to tell these teenagers, I'm like, yo, man, don't attach yourself to people whose parents haven't sacrificed like your parents have sacrificed. You understand what I'm saying? Your parents have put so much into you. They've sacrificed their hard-earned time and energy, and I mean, hard-earned dollars, their time, their energy into making you what you are. Now you go and attach yourself to somebody that's willing to risk it all and crash all the way out. Don't do it. Don't attach yourself to people that are toxic or bullyish or whatever, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? Your parents don't work hard for you to be proper or good or whatever. And then you attach yourself to somebody that's really the, that's willing to throw it all away. Not even considering your well-being. You know what I'm saying? And now your mama looking around. Like, don't do your mama like that. Don't do your parents crazy like that where you linked up with the wrong person. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how else to put that. But I think a lot of y'all get what I'm saying, man. You know what I mean? Your par Look, you're carrying the more precious seed of your parents' labor and sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Than the person that, that's ready to crash out. You're carrying a more precious seed than them. You know what I mean? What's the seed? The seed is your parents' labor and sacrifice. Your mama put it all on the line for you. You know what I'm saying? And now you want to link up with this one that's ready to throw it all away for, for because they want to act stupid or show off? No. Listen, uh, my fault. Blue, what's my time looking like? Gosh. Blue face says, you're like, yeah, 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 you used up a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, so what? What, you got something better to do? No. Blue face has, has done something that results in a critical conversation that needs to be had within our culture. While he was disciplining his child, he had on camera. He had the camera on, right? And he said, he, said, he goes, I'm done. Let them watch you. Referring to the people that were on, that were watching the live stream. Then he leaves the room. His son ran over to the phone, knocks it over. Listen, um, source, please don't post a video of the son being, you know what I'm saying? Because it was embarrassing enough as it is the kid didn't want to be. Hopefully, source is listening. When I, please don't post a video of, you can post r random videos of Blueface, random videos of his son or whatever, but not that particular video that they showed that's connected to this. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, look, most people don't want to be told how to raise their children, but I think there are some core things that folks can agree upon. Discipline should not involve dr the drawing of blood. You know what I'm saying? They should not be exposed to sexually explicit material, nor encouraged to engage in sexual practices, which would negatively impact them psychologically you know what i'm saying and and most people are against forms of public humiliation and recording your child and putting it on live against their will that's a form of public humiliation the kind that your child could end up never forgetting and subsequently having underlying bitterness towards you you know what i'm saying some of us are still bitter against our parents for embarrassing us in front of folks you know what i'm saying don't pass it on to your next generation you know what i mean i know you might think it's funny or you, are you teaching a lesson you better think it through when you involve you know what i'm saying like when you involve other people think through like how it's gonna affect the feel that's the thing i think a lot of people don't think further beyond the moment you know what i'm saying oh listen um i Heart radio offices were visited by the fed potentially investigating dj envy uh, I'm not 100 percent sure whether they are investigating him, but they they went to the iHeart Radio office, and um, uh, is that where DJ Envy is? 
Take a look at this, this clip real quick. Post a $1 million bond and is being released on electronic monitoring. He cannot leave the state of New Jersey. No comment from DJ Envy. An inside source tells us that the iHeartRadio offices were visited by the feds who took out electronic equipment as part of this investigation. From New York, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in case you don't know, um, yeah, the Breakfast Club, I had to look it up, man. I said, where's the Breakfast Club radio show? located in new york uh it's an urban contemporary music radio show licensed to new, to new york city um it's owned by iheart media and broadcast from studios in the former at&t building in, in in the tribeca neighborhood of manhattan um so i mean that's where dj envy works right now the situation is that dj envy um dj envy uh, I guess he was working alongside this other dude. I forgot the the dude's name. You know what I'm saying? But he got, um, matter of fact, didn't Source send it to me? I think Source sent it to me. Let me see if Source sent it to me. Uh, yeah, the dude's name is uh, um, Caesar. I was about to say Carlos. Caesar Pena. You know what I'm saying? Um, has indeed been picked up by the feds. He'll be arraigned this afternoon. Stay tuned. Um, so, so this is the guy that I guess was doing some kind of i don't want to say scam but it says that um he allegedly scammed down nearly over 20 million dollars from local residents and and has been hit with uh the real estate rico officially by the feds i didn't even know that there was such a thing or is that this what they're terming it as because it's the feds that are involved whatever the situation is you know what i'm saying um it ain't looking good it ain't looking good and because i think dj envy might may have promoted it or something like that or he was um he was uh loosely connected to dude somehow uh now they might be looking to and, and something tells me dj envy will tell it all he'll say he'll he'll say exactly what went down you know what i'm saying um let me let me do my shout outs real quick let me do my shout outs real quick oh, did i skip a story i think i did let me do my shout outs real quick. Uh, we got a short video for today. So, 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 shout out to King George. King George said, A different world episode where Tupac visited Jada in college and she was going with that Clarence dude and Tupac gave his blessing. That's where Jada gets that from. Yeah, you're right. They, she playing us. Oh, 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 I see. You're saying that with Tupac giving his blessing in that episode is where the idea where she says, oh, Pac would have gave Will Smith <laughs> his blessing. So she's ba like based off of what he did on that show. That's what he would have naturally did. I mean, perhaps, you know what I'm saying? New York people said, I love Cardi's heart. Not so much her music. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, uh, that's where I'm at. I, well, I don't know her heart, but I like i kind of like what i see when she's not rapping but whatever let's go she, uh new york people said i love cardi's heart not so much her music she lets the public too far into her personal life in my opinion which causes her to get attacked she's human and taking more hate than any of us could probably stand stay strong my girl from the bronx god gotcha you know what i'm saying yeah yeah like you know um well part of the thing is this, i believe she dropped one album and, and um, I think she was on uh, like real, real, not, I forgot what the name of the show is, but she was on like reality TV or something like that. So a lot of, a lot of what we know about Cardi is a lot of the things that she's been saying, you know what I mean? Social media. So, you know, but, but people are people. Let's, let's get that right. Uh, Moni, Moni said, Moni said, hey, hey, celeb, I'm new to the channel. Great critical thinking skills on a Will Smith and Jada topic. Oh, I appreciate that. Look, critical thinking. So if somebody telling me I got great critical thinking skills, that's one of the best compliments somebody could give me. N now, uh, I hope it's true. I believe it's true. You know what I'm saying? It's possible that it could not be, though. I've done a lot of things that, are, that have been um, uh, questionable. But maybe that in, in and of itself is displaying critical thinking skills. What do you think? Uh, fly behind auntie, she said. She said, let me get this straight. She's the mother of two beautiful children, a wife, a family that loves her. And yet she's talking about a bullet in her head. Oh, talking about Cardi B over a stranger's comment. Yeah. F this foolishness. I'm done. Some of these entertainers love being perpetual victims. I wish they'd pick a side. Which one is she? A thug gangster or an emotional temper tantrum toddler? Perhaps Cardi and her family should take a three week vacation away from the Internet on a nice, beautiful island. I genuinely like Cardi. That's what a lot of people keep saying. She's funny, stylish, pretty and witty. But she needs to grow thicker skin and get a good therapist or either listen to Celeb Source every day. 100%. I am 100% agree. She needs to listen to Celeb Source. Um, but Cardi B, I think, is very smart. So I think she knows how to play 
the crowd. She can get the crowd on her side very, very easily. I think she knows how to do it. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So um, I don't think that's foreign to her and 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 what she does. You know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. All that, all that talk about. I'll oh, put a bullet in my head, and, uh, and maybe she's a very passionate person, so she makes passionate statements like that. You know what I mean? And and nowadays it seems like society gravitates towards passionate people. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, Ashley Pope. Ashley Pope says, I love me some Cardi, but nah, she wrong. Telling someone to go die. She constantly wishes death on people. Now I understand and get this. Uh, people be saying wild ish to her, but still doesn't make it right to keep wishing death on people. Karma is real. It does come back around, but it can come back to your loved ones as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me, let me throw this out here. Michael Asibu, I'm going to get you tomorrow, but check this out though. Um, let me just throw this out here. Okay. Uh, everybody's going to die. All of us are going to die. It's just a matter of who's going before who. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go before somebody else. Somebody else is definitely going before you. It just is what it is. Let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up. Um, that's not. And finally, yeah. So look, remember like two years ago, there was a question of going around about, would you take a uh, 500K or dinner with Jay-Z? And a bunch of people was like, man, I'll take a dinner with Jay-Z because he'll put me on a game. And Jay himself was like, the hell are these fools thinking? Take the 500K. Well, now someone done told Jay-Z to his face that they damn near take food stamps to dinner with him. You like word? Take a listen. Hey, ho, I'm taking that uh, 500K. I ain't taking that dinner. I'm taking that 500K. You feel me? <laughs> hey, it's love, though. You feel me? Yeah. You like, they ain't say no damn food stamps. Yeah, well, 500K to Jay-Z is like food stamps, ain't it? Look, look, look. look. Uh, the fan tells Jay-Z they would rather take the 500K. Jay-Z is like, yeah, my ninja. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. 500K, please. And finally... Listen, uh, you know, Jada, Jada Pinkett has been on her book tour in the whole nine yards, right? So Will Smith joined her when she was in Baltimore. Take, take a look real quick. Can you love somebody forever, no matter what? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it was like, mm. <laughs> I saw you, man. I saw your face. Um, <laughs> you know, can you show up and love somebody for the rest of your life, even when you don't agree with them? And there ain't nobody on earth except you, mommy. You, mommy. My mommy. <laughs> I almost messed up. I almost messed up. You, mom, nobody, nobody showed up for me more than you, mom. Um, <laughs> um, Jade is the best friend I have ever had on this planet. And I am going to show up for her and support her for the rest of my life. Yes and no. Uh, look, look. Marriage is for life. And only three things uh, should be able to break it up. Adultery, abandonment, and death. You know what I'm saying? Ab look, abuse is looming in the background, but that's a different discussion. You know what I'm saying? Will goes, I just really wanted to come out, just be here, hold it down for you the way you held it down for me. We had a very long and uh, tumultuous relationship. It was brutal, right? Uh, brutal and beautiful at the same time. Our union is a sloppy public experiment. Interesting choice of words. It's a sloppy public experiment in unconditional love. I guess so. As I stand here before you today, I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life. I achieved every single thing I've ever wanted in my entire life. Close quote. Listen, um, I do believe part of the issue we see here, right? Uh, is someone not establishing the proper boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Now, it is their relationship, so they can technically do as they please. But they're doing it in front of us. So we're going to talk about it. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 like for the onlookers that are consciously and subconsciously influenced, consider the following, right? When an evil person knows that they could get away with murder, you know what they're going to do? They're going to murder. You see what I'm saying? And all of us are evil. You know what I mean? You, you may plan to never leave, but please don't let anybody else know that. You know what I'm saying? 
because they will completely take advantage of that piece of information and violate the boundaries set. So in a way, your next move has to be somewhat unpredictable. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay to say within the context of a healthy marriage, I'm locked in. But don't expect me to be locked in when you're trouncing all over these marital boundaries. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and we're not living in the context of a healthy marriage. You're like, well, there's a lot of things that, that make a marriage unhealthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're not getting into all of that right now. Don't get me wrong. I am not advocating divorce apart from reasons given in the scriptures, right? But two things that should be mutually exclusive cannot be held simultaneously. You want that? Well, then you can't have this. It is impossible. That's the rules. You see what I'm saying? Gravity don't make no exceptions because it likes you. It's going to let you down regardless of how much you like it. You see what I'm saying? You don't play them games, man. Like, if you F around, then you might could lose this. Period. That's just is what it is because I'm not going to allow you to expose me to your, the shenanigans that you got going on. You know what I'm saying? And put me in danger. Self-preservation, right? You can't let somebody like... <laughs> You got to defend yourself. You got to put up the boundaries and the and the thing for yourself. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe, um, I believe, you know what the scriptures say? The scriptures say, um, husbands love your wife as Christ, Christ loved the church. It says wives, um, you know, respect your husband, submit to your husband. That's what it say. Straight up. You don't like it. You don't like what the scriptures say. That's your problem. You know what I mean? But I believe the scriptures say when it comes down to love, it says, love your wife. You know what I'm saying? In other words, you got to be willing to give up your life for your wife. I get that part. You know what I'm saying? But it says when we talk about love, love your wife or love others as you love yourself. And how do you love yourself? Well, you nourish yourself and you cherish yourself. You nourish yourself and protect yourself, making sure that you are taken care of. You see what I'm saying? So you do the same thing for your wife. But notice that we said nourish ourselves and protect ourselves. But if you hate yourself, then you're probably not going to treat anyone else very well. Because you don't even like you. You see what I'm saying? And you'll allow somebody else to just take full advantage. And then after they do all of that and, and mistreat you, you know, when people mistreat people, they like them less. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, so if you allow someone to mistreat you, they are going to like you less every time they mistreat you, which is why the boundary must be set. You cannot just mistreat and get away with. Now, we don't know how long she's been doing this. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, you know, it can't, this can't be no norm. <laughs> we know that for sure. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. I think it's easier for a, a, a woman to be in love with a man when she really, really respects him. You see what I'm saying? If she really respects him and just looks, looks to the man with admiration because she has a high level of respect for him, you're going to like, that's, that's a lot of love that that man is going to be feeling. He's going to see it in her eyes when she looks at him. You know what I mean? But if, if a woman don't respect her man and she got no respect for her man, then you could assume the level of love is probably very low. You know what I'm saying? Under which circumstance, I don't know. She keep using words like life partner, don't she? Maybe, may, like, maybe that's, I don't know. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.